Oh boy, oh boy, look at this. Emrakul Mox Jet Mox Sapphire. I mean, knowing what we know about ourselves, I want to take the Mox Sapphire. It's really unfortunate because Emrakul fuels so many strategies. I think Emrakul is one of the most um, unassuming engines in the cube. It's good for Through the Breach, Channel, Sneak Attack, Show and Tell, Eureka. Like, a lot of those cards aren't super competitive and they're not great. But, I mean, like, the fact is Emrakul is just very, very good. We're going to take Mox, Mox Sapphire, though. Into a Time Twister. Also an Upheaval. I like an Upheaval. I feel like one of the things I've been really trying to do recently is the Leovold Narset Time Twister Time Spiral nonsense. I just feel like that's been really enjoyable. <laughs> Uh, to try and assemble that. Leovold's one of my favorite cards. I think we're going to skip it and try to upheaval here. Let's see if we can get some real some real green boys. Or some real brown boys. Some artifacts. Okay, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. We could just take a gush. Because if we're going to upheaval anyway, it's actually pretty good on the upheaval turn, right? Maybe. Maybe. I'll take a gush. Uh, it's probably better than uh, just random sower, right? Brazen Borrower. And a Progenitus? This... God, why do I keep putting cards on the sideboard? This is one of those sideboard drafts. Boy, they sure keep coming up. They sure keep... There keeps being more and more of those. I think it's Brazen Borrower. It doesn't cause us to go into a different color. Sure. Oh, Azorius Signet. Yeah, that's Azorius Signet. Could him to Torak. Double black's a little rough. We have no incentive to be black right now anyway. Okay, well, I spoke too soon, clearly. Also, Entomb is really nice. Jeez. I like Entomb and I like Baleful Strix here. The two cards I think are going to come back are Angrath's Rampage and Brimaz. That's my guess. If we're going to be black, in two might be better than Baleful Strix. I, I still like... I think Baleful Strix is just a better card. Oh, Golos? Oh yeah, we're going to Golos. Should I go low, low, lows? Pester might. Interesting. Yeah, I, mean, it's, I think it's, it's it's on color, whatever. Inkwell Leviathan. Ooh, Tefri came back and we already have a Zorius Signet? And a Scrubland. God dang. Oh yeah, Kiki Jiki, we have Pestermite. <laughs> That's good too. Okay. Mere Battle Sphere is nice. I'm going to put Baleful Strix over here for now. I actually don't know if Anime Dead went by. Vindicate in case we don't end up Kiki Jiki and do end up Abzan. Or uh, Esper, I don't know why I said Abzan there. Animate the dead dude. We're gonna take that guy. What if that entomb came back? Wouldn't wouldn't that be wild? Eh, 
I think Firebolt in case we are red. Thank wow. you. Okay, so I was right about the Rampage, not right about the Null Priest. What did I say? I said Brimaz. Brett Thank with the five you. gifted subs. I'm also actually surprised Primaris Powerhouse not, was not subbed. That seems... That seems uncommon. Thank you. Dude, you are awesome. Is Brett like at the top right now? I was hoping for a soul ring. I always look here and if I don't see any power, I'm like, let me look down here for the soul ring. Since the disconnect prevented earlier. Dude, Brett, I also appreciate the 200 bits, man. Oh, Brett's number one for... Thank you. For November. Primaris Powerhouse, it's good. It's so good that like I noticed that you're not, so it was like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like, that makes sense? Like, you're so consistent about something that like I noticed when you when you weren't. So I was like, oh, that's weird. It's totally not a totally not a big deal, my dude. Brett, I appreciate you, man. You were awesome. God. What are you taking here? This pack's not like it's not great, but it's good. It's just is it I don't feel like we have the support for Kiki Jiki right now, I'll be honest. I'd much rather have Baleful Strix and Vindicate in this deck. Kind of like Thief of Sanity here. Oh, what up, Chorwit? But now I'm wishing I took either Tefri or the other guy. We can also take Badlands. What did it took? Eternal Witness? I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm taking Bribery. Blightsteel. God, we're really setting us up for a tinker here, aren't we? Yeah, I just feel like we're getting much better white and blue cards than we are, um... I'm gonna take this guy. This guy's banana... Oh my god, they're just... Splinter Twin! We have Brazen Borrower and Pesterite and Baleful Strix right now. It's actually a really good Fallen Shinobi package. Oh god, I wish I took the stupid Scrubland. Okay, but I'll make up for it by taking this Flooded Strand, which is very good. Snapcast are also very sweet, but... Okay, over, over, over. You're staying, you're going... Oh, there's the Tinker we were wanting. Oh, man, we have Mere Battlesphere. I hope... Oh, we already passed... Shit, we already passed Inkwell, and we passed Blightsteel. I think we're just taking Control Magic here. If the Blightsteel comes back, I'm going to feel silly, but if it doesn't, I'm going to feel validated. I think it's just Looter here. Looter is another another guy for uh, for Fallen Shinobi. I don't want Path because I think our White Slash is pretty light. We only have Vindicate and Tefri right now. I like Amiria's Call as a White Sword. Uh, triple White though is pretty pretty rough. Agadim's Awakening is also. I mean, like for for eight mana we can get like Golos, Brazen Bar, or Baleful Strix. It's not terrible. I mean, I think it's better than Golgari Signet. Maybe not. Signet seems better. I'll take it Signet. Oh, Thief of Sanity Wheels? Wow, again with Fallen Shinobi. Wow, this is actually pretty good. I don't know if we're upheavaling yet. We only have two Signets, which is not... And a Mox, which does not make a... Uh, Blood Chief's Thirst has actually been fine for me. Like, the fact that it kills a Planeswalker is pretty big. Like, being able to just spend four and kill any Planeswalker is nice.
put Sheldred over here for now. I mean, our deck is... I think I think Inquisition's probably better than Commit to Memory here. Although, like I said, I have been actually impressed with Commit to Memory. Rotting Reginald. I'll take Tithe Taker, actually. Also, we can pick up any strafe uh, shock or dual lands. I'm okay with that, too, for the Golos. That's pretty nice. Shorty, get low, low, low. Hey, that Liliana that keeps hating on us. Sure. Eh, Quagmire is a green source for our Golos. Treachery. Treachery keeps being good. I, I mean, I know it just steals a creature. It's just, it's just a guy that steals a creature. But it's still very good. Mox Diamond, also good. Dak Faden, also good. Karn, also good. This pack is pretty good. I don't think I care about Gush or Pestermite that much, to be honest. I think Treachery is probably the pick here. Oh, Cryptic Command? I haven't seen a Cryptic Command in ages. Wow, we could have had Deceiver, Exarch, Pestermite, Kikijiki, and Splinter Twin. That would have been good. With short of fixing here, I think we're just taking Cryptic Command. Oh, Creeping Tarpit? Yeah, that's great. That's a nice one. Come on, Underground Sea. I haven't seen an Underground Sea once in this whole friggin' cube. I mean, Power Stone's fine, but it's not really ramping us to anything that we... I don't know if we're upheavaling is the thing. Like, I'm not sure if this is an upheaval deck just because we have two Signets and Mox Sapphire. Like, we took upheaval, but I don't know if we're upheavaling. I'd much rather go, go on the Golos train. Yeah, I think we're better off not trying to upheaval as well. Like, these are both on-color Signets, so... Oh, I like Volcanic Island and I like Plateau. I think Volcanic Island is a little better because we do want to, uh... Can someone confirm we were up -eveling? No, I'm sorry. I'm gonna take Volcanic. Uh, it's nice for the Golos. It's, uh, it's a red, and we do want... We want lands the tap for blue. Gristlebrand, Ashen Rider, Miscalc, Urza, and Time Warp. Wow, this is a pack. This is a pack of Reno. Thank you. I kind of think it's. Oh, Primaris Paris gifting a sub. Dude, I appreciate you, my dude. You know what would make this deck better? Is it is it Fuzzy's Tacos? Torchy's Tacos? I think Urza is pretty strong here. Yeah, I'm just going to take Urza here. Spire Bluff Canal is okay. I don't really want a second one, though. 
Um, what is animate? Like, we have animate dead, too. Like, our deck is kind of weird, man. Like, we kind of did a little bit reanimate. We kind of did a little bit upheaval. We did a little bit. And now it's just turning into, like, an Esper Good Stuff deck. I think it's Winds of Abandon here. Thran Dynamo definitely brings my upheaval dreams back a little bit. Interesting. I think we're Thran Dynamoing. Oh, upheaval's back on the menu now. We got Signet, Signet, Thran, Mox. Oh, uh, I, I was also considering Bitter Blossom because, you know, we already have Baleful Strikes, Looter, Brazen Bar, Thief of Sanity, and Pestermite. Which is a good amount of evasive creatures. Confirm upheaval. <laughs> we're trying. We're working on it. Uh, I can see cutting commit to memory. But also having Teferi and memory. God damn. That's cold. I think we're just taking Heroes Downfall here. Dang, Leovold. How are you going to act? Oh, Dark Slick Shores coming back is super nice. Wow, that's a real treat. Pretty sure that's the last land we're going to pick up, but that's okay. We're only splashing like two white cards, three white cards. I think wins can probably come out. The kicker is double white, which is a little harder to do. I do really wish I had that scrub land. I also, if that worn Power Stone came back, I would actually poop my pants. I'll just take Deceiver Exarch here. Man, we still have three of the four. That's pretty crazy. Interesting. What if I go turn three Geist, attack, and then Fallen Shinobi the Angel token on turn four? Oh my god. That's the dream I want to live. Look at this pack! I'm just taking Gristlebrand here. And on Burial Rites? And we have Animate Dead? Maybe we just play the Gristlebrand and just put it in the graveyard somehow. Could also ramp into it pretty easily. Wow, this is very interesting. So we have Animate Dead. We also have Null Priest. Also, Null Priest is an evasive creature. Huh. This was a confusing graph. There were a lot of open signals. Yes, we got like all of... All of the Pestermite combo. I think we're just going to lean on Golos with Quagmire and Volcanic Island. Three cuts. We also have Control Magic and Treachery. We can pri and, and Bribery. Like, this is a lot of ways to steal there, guys. I'm going to take Control Magic out. Probably take Geist out. I think we have enough non-white options, and I don't really want to max. I want to minimize our white sources. Also, Golgari Signet's nice because it lets us. It also lets us Golos. I mean, I'm tempted to take Animate Dead and Gristle Brand out. I don't think Animate Dead is great here. Oh, we do have we do have Null Priest. What? How are we discarding Gristle Brand? Are we ever discarding it? I don't think so. We have Looter, I guess. 
kind of a little. It's not. That's not much. We can also hit him off of Urza, you know. Oh, we also have Liliana to reanimate. Interesting. Maybe we just cut the Gristlebrand. We could probably leave. I'm gonna cut the animate dead too. Null Priest is great though, just because you can discard something, and get it back. I mean, I might just play Children. I have a plan now. Hear me out. Play the Gristles, let them die, then get them back. That's Galaxy Brain right there. Do you like Mere Battlesphere better than Shouldered? I'm not sure. I kind of want to cut Anime Dead. I don't know if that's correct. It's, it feels fine, actually. I'm also tempted to just play 23 lands and a Mox. I think that's probably good. Alright, we're going to play more lands than we normally do here. Okay, so not a single white card. We just have two white splashy cards. That's good. Um, oh, we got a Blast Zone in here too. Get that thing out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a lot. Four, five, six... Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually okay. And then one, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I kind of do want a second white. I mean, we only have two white cards. We also only have like three white sources. It's just not a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is like twelve blue sources, which is a lot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we are playing up people because we got three and dynamo too. Yeah, because we have Signet, Signet, Mox, Thran Dynamo, and I think that's actually a good amount for for upheaval. Plus, upheaval just wins games sometimes. Thank you. Can't stay because being on a phone is a is a no no at my job. But yeah, wow, four years is. <laughs> Michael B, thank you for the resub, buddy. Oh, man, Michael B at work doing that resub. Bobby, is that you? <laughs> oh, man. Is a plane flying by? Yes, yes, it is. I think our deck is good. Got a lot of cute value cards. Baleful Strix, Thief of Sanity, Teferi, Urza... And then we have, like, Cryptic Command and Commit to Memory. We also have Bribery and Treachery, which are top tier 5 drops. Send them on down to Rat Train. Send them on down to Rat Train. 18. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> 18 mana sources in this deck. Still one land. Sure. Can chip out planes here. Do 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 do. Remember that time we rode the rat train to Disney World? Did we ride the rat? I, I, I think was that a train? I, God, I miss I miss Disney. We need to go back. Oh, fascinating. I'm just gonna cast this guy. Waiting for this guy to, like, you never want to wait till till turn six to cast your null priest, because then like, 
Are you gonna manatize me? Are you fucking serious? Oh god. I never feel more disgust and contempt for my opponent than when they fucking manatize me on turn two. Like, Jesus. Oh, we did take the train from Clearwater Orlando. That's right. I actually don't know how I forgot about that. Hey, who's licking? Stop. Okay, so we get to go Cryptic Command into Bribery. That feels okay. The chance <laughs> a train at a cafe car. Not a dining car. Oh, chrome mox. I assume you'll get rid of a white card. Oh, here comes here. Oh, Gideon? Yeah, that's fine. I'm really hoping you have a Sun Titan in your deck for us to bribe her, otherwise it's probably gonna be some mediocre white nonsense. Yeah. Ooh, banishing light, eh? Alright, well we have both Brazen Barber and Cryptic Command, so we got a lot of responses here. This guy's fine, fine. Do, 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 do. Do I want to take 8 here? I think we're just tapping and bouncing the chrome mocks. Or we can return the chrome mocks, bounce the Gideon. No, that doesn't work. You can't bounce two things. We could also just keep this in Brazen Bar or the Gideon. I think that's worse. Tap Bounce Token, huh? I mean, if they, uh... Oh, they didn't do anything after that. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's get my screenshot already. Oh, it doesn't look very good at all. Linvala, Hero of Blade, hold. Okay, they do have a Winter Orb? Wow, Ravages of War? Jeez. Playing the Scumbag deck. I mean, it's gotta be Hero of Blade Hold here, right? I was hoping for a Sun Titan, then we can get back Null Priest. We have a 6-6, six, six, which is pretty solid. Okie dokie. Guess we'll take eight this turn. Kithian. Okay. We assume that's what that's what they drew this turn because they literally didn't have it in their hand. Well, that 
that's fun. Like that. Let's kill Gideon next turn. That's annoying. <laughs> yep, we're just going to concede here. I don't really feel like rebuilding all the things. Uh, control magic actually seems better than bribery here. I'll let them cast their cards and I'll just steal them. Uh, Shielder does... Well, actually they both seem good. Balance actually seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Come on, Signet. Or Mox. Oh, boy. Hey, it was a Mox. Look at that. Why'd you look at that? Okay, this is actually great. It's got a white source. Let's use that for a white source. Play Mox Arena. And next turn we actually get to play Theron Dynamo as well. They have no pressure here. Whew. We're definitely getting Volcanic off of this, because that we have to. Well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, okay. I mean, it still lets, uh, lets us go lost next turn. And we also we could get to play around Mana Tithe, too, here. But 
Bounce Dolly when he attacks. Yeah, that's definitely the plan. I mean, the alternative is letting Tefri die, and, you know, that's not really great. Chrome Mox. I guess we don't need to play around Man of the Tefri. That's a good point. I forget that he does that as well. Huh. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? This is Oblivion Ring on Teferi. I can see it. Spectral. That's a thing. Well, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana next turn. We upheaval. We can drop Dynamo again, right? Because we'll get to replay Mox. Yeah, let's do that. So next time we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 mana. happens. Thalia. I might actually play Golos first, because they don't have a ton of pressure. And the more we can build, the better our... Yeah, and this is also worse for us as well, because... So, one, two, three, four, five... I mean, they can't ravage his war either because they only have four mana with the Thalia out, so. Oh boy. Oh boy. So the tokens go away, they lose their chrome mocks. Yeah, we have Hissing Quagmire, we also have Golgari Signet, so... We're going to play this because it just gets bounced with upheaval, so then we get to rebounce something. And we get to attack for 30 here, so.
sure. <laughs> you got it. Okie dokie. Uh, let's play Signet. That's not Signet. Uh, this guy and... It's blue source. Discard two things. We'll get rid of a land. And land. Okay, so we're going to have Plains, Giver, Thalia. Cube was supposed to end this morning, but while I was in my very first draft, the only the only draft I thought I was going to do, the clock reset to another day, and then it said 23 hours, and I was like, oh, wow, that's wild. Well, we definitely couldn't vindicate that turn. We didn't have white or black, so. We know they have planes. Mox and and Giver are like the two cards we know about of their seven. Man, <laughs> they have to pay one for the Mox? Jeez. They've lost like four cards to this friggin' Mox. Oh, good, Ravages of War. Let's get rid of that. That's, you love to see it. Sure. either black for downfall this guy i think we want to vindicate this i think hero's downfall takes care of everything we really care about so we're just gonna go one and black and this now they already have three mana like they only have like two cards in their deck that cost four like i just don't care about the the land as much I feel like Thalia in the long run is going to be harder to deal with and it's going to be uh, just going to keep chipping away at us when we're already at 12. Yeah, that's fine. What? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! See, I think that's actually worth it just to do it.
but why? <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so now they're going to play the Gideon or Heroes, Hero Blade Hold, I imagine. Oh, they got Disenchant. I remember they had Disenchant and they used it for the Chrome Mox. So I would not be surprised if they just disenchanted the oust. Sure. Hmm. Fascinating. Oh boy. I mean, we give them an opening, but we we have like three. We win in like three turns. <laughs> nice. Oh, they just don't have a creature here. Carpet doing the work. Would you look at that? Non-land. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Jesus, dude. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 lands have come out of our deck. There are literally like two more lands in our deck. That's insane. <laughs> Shorty, listen, it was a while ago, okay? The game's over. This is a match where I definitely wish I had a stupid... Uh... Actually, Winds of Abandon just could be good here. I think we just take one land out for a Winds of Abandon. 16 and a Mock Sapphire is just fine. I'm okay with this hand. We got a control magic with one more land. Null Priest keeps us alive a little bit. Your favorite and mine. Coming, coming. La, 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 la. This gives us a turn three play as well. This guy just gains life, you know. But we're definitely not blocking now. You're just gonna flip. And that's just rude. Alright. What? Really? No, I wanted to cast this, son of a bitch. Oh, that's annoying. Wow, that's so bad. Unless they do nothing here, in which case I guess that's fine. Okay, now we're talking. Oh my god, that was so bad though. Oh my god, I just misclicked from main to end. I mean, we don't mind path because they 
we get the land. Uh, Oust is kind of annoying. Oblivion Ring on Control Magic is annoying. Those are only two cards, though, right? What, mm, Disenchant. That's a good one. Sure. Well. They have one card in their hand. Blue land would be great. We can queue up Cryptic, and then another land would be great. We get a Battle Sphere. These are also cards I just don't add to my cube, because... Why? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We're just gonna shuffle again. Like, there's nothing we could draw here is the problem. Like, if we, we need lands and spells in order to play anything, so... Yep. Yep, cool. Alright. Yeah. Fun match. I mean, having <laughs> awkward disenchant to get rid of control magic, but also, like, <laughs> ravages of war. Okie dokie. No beats, what's the problem you're having? I'm gonna keep this just cause looter. Three lands, seems fine. I did add Oko to my cube because I think it's just, it's dealt with by a lot of, per it's, it's, it's easily dealt with by a lot of things, right? Like it's still a, What's the error though? I'm like I'm, I'm specifically what's the error so I can see if I can if I've had the same problem or if I heard of someone with the same problem. Ask Cam, good games. Let's get our loot on. Bribery should be decent here. Remember that time we had two signets in our deck and we just couldn't draw them ever? Me too. Oof. Big oof. What is this? Interesting. Scalding Tarn Swamp Forest. Correct. I definitely boarded Bribery out after the first game. Okay, so they have one card in hand. Fascinating. This is actually a great draw there. So now we can attack. Still keep up Brazen Borrower. Yeah, easy. Interesting. Oh, Ben, try to download the setup file again. One of the things that was wrong, the first the first one they uploaded uh, redirected to HTTP. The new one downloads to HTTPS. So you're probably trying to download a file that doesn't exist anymore. The, the link is invalid. This is the latest one from their website. Mm, okay. Well. Interesting. Then I may not have an explanation for that.
Primeval Titan. Let's see it. You love to see it. I'm just going to leave it because I'm going to vindicate. I don't have a, I don't have a white mana. Uh, I don't have a white mana. Dang it. Well, if we get one, we can still Brazen Bar on our turn. And we have no real play otherwise. So I'm going to give myself the chance. Plus we get like two draw steps. Oh, maybe we just bribery. Huh. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. That seems good. Choose a card to discard. One, two, three. We want a second. Yeah, we can get rid of island here. No vindicate for us. We could also play Thief and bounce the Primeval Titan, which I do kind of like a lot. There is a potential of bribery whiffs. I like having Thief and, and Brazen. I, I think I think this is just better. Maybe. They have one card in hand, which is great for us. If they don't have, like, an Eldrazi, what if... If Primeval Titan is, like, the best card in their deck, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna Bribery. We're not here to not Bribery. Well, not a single Eldrazi. They do have a Karn. They have one card in their hand. I mean, I guess it's got to be a vendor here. <laughs> I mean, Leovold is great, and I love Leovold, but I don't, I don't see it doing much here. Uh, I, I wish they still had Primeval Titan in the deck. Two more lands for you. Oh god, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What is this? You're keeping two mana up? Oh, you're just casting Terastodon. Seems good. Well, that guy's pretty big. Three of your own. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think we're just going to loot here. Let's see what happens. That would have been a nice bribery target. Apparently their hand was literally Primeval Titan and they drew Terastodon. Looking for a white source here. One time white source. Thank you. One time give me a white source. Always yield, yes. I actually think this guy's a bigger threat. One, two, three, four, five, six. They also only have seven mana. I guess they could recast this guy with one more mana. We could also just bounce an elephant. I, I do think Primeval Titan is a bigger threat here. 
Like, these guys can easily be chump blocked. Like, we can block here, chump here. And then triple block a different elephant. That seems good, actually. I actually think we're pretty okay here. That's fine. I don't care about that guy. Looter actually does some, some pretty good work for us here. A big dummy 9-9. Nine nine. Somewhere over the rainbow. Yep, this is a good attack for us. Um, block here. Block one, two, three on this guy, and chump block here. I'll take three. Like, this elephant gets to kill one plant. It seems fine. This Thank elephant you. gets to kill no plants. Sure. I'll trade plants for elephants all day. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, some elf. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Welcome back. Um, let's go to... Moochie McDoodoo diapers. The baby told me he poops his pants when he's drunk. He poops his pants when he's sober, too. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna crew this and I'm gonna pop it right back. It doesn't really matter which one we hit first. Oh, that's really good. Yep, discard that. Oh! 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. God, geez, all of these are good. I think it's Karn here, though. Oh, boy. Thank the, you! Oh, boy. Yeah, we're going to take that Karn. Super Fritz with a gifted sub to Poopy McButtface. Uh, we don't have a second black for this yet. Could just play Null Priest as a blocker. Which feels fine, I think. Could have also discarded Null Priest, played the land, gotten two threes, and then also cast Blood Chief's Thirst. That would have been a better play, I think. Because we would have just gotten rid of this guy. We can also just play Brazen Borrower. Which I think is fine. It doesn't block, but... Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. I mean, our blocks are literally 5-4 on 3-3, on three, three, and then jump block a Terastodon. It's not super bad. You got a smug. You got big smugs. Oracle? Sure. Trigon Predator. Got it. And big smugs? Got it. Alright. Well, our one hit with Thief of Sanity was extremely relevant. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Now we have two blockers for floats. Oh, this guy's not even down yet. 
What we can actually do is play Karn, exile the Smuggler's Copter, hit with Thief again. And then we still have great, great blocks. And again, we still don't care about this stupid fat idiot. Um, ooh, interesting. Fascinating, interesting, fascinating. I think it's actually Avacyn's Pilgrim. It sounds weird, but, like, it's an easy creature that we can just throw on the board to block. Whereas, like, everything else just commits us to one card a turn. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Pilgrim. Oh, interesting. I like that a lot. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they know they're drawing scavenging news and they have nothing to really do with it. So, that's kind of cool. <sighs> uh, control magic seems very good here. Upheaval seems a little rough against the mono green deck. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I can't even handle you guys in the freaking chat. Animate Dead also seems decent against them. Or Shieldred. They're just not going to have any answers, it looks like. I think I like Shieldred better than Battlesphere here. Um, winds could be very good, actually. Yeah, we just don't have... It's, it's hard because we don't have a ton of white, but it might just be worth playing 41 with 18 mana sources. I may have Bribery, Treachery, and Control Magic, which are all very good. So... Highlighted message. Solid. Solid highlighted message, Rob Nato. Robo Nato. Um, I don't love this. I'm going to keep it. I'm on the draw. They went to six. Good. Works for me. Any black source, and we got two plays. Okay, you're not a black source, but that's okay. I forgive you. That'll do. Torchy's tacos for Christmas. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, natural order. Boy, that's a thing, isn't it? Oh, boy. Well, 18 mana sources and we can't hit a third land. Okay, they're going to hit Leo. So, Leo, Natural, Oracle, we know that. I mean, this is just, they're going to terrasse it on kill our three mana sources.
That seems like a good decision. I'm no decision expert. I would also, you could also just get Primeval Titan. It's got to be Terastodon, though, right? Like, my whole board goes away. Huh. That seems worse than the other choices. But then again, we have nothing to really contest it, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm like, I'm wondering if they just have Terrastan on Primeval Titan in hand. So that's pretty, I mean, like, Oracle, Primeval, Terras. Okay. Alright, get free for Oh, two free forests in a row? What a deal. What a deal. And then Forest. Man, my kingdom for a damnation here. Oh. Oh. I think we're getting rid of Liliana. Double black does not seem ideal here. Now I get to give up Commander Cryptic, which is, seems okay. Mystic on top. I'm not even going to write it because I assume they're just going to play Forest, which they did, and then um, Biscuits. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah. Fascinating. Okay. Pay costs. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's still my first card drawn that turn, so it's a weird decision, but all right. Well, we can't do anything about any of this stuff on here, and we're at four, so. Yikes. All right. Um, oh, balance. Interesting. Uh, let's cut one of these for another white. Let's take out Liliana Death's Majesty. What up, Jimmy? You know, I will keep this. Like it. Well, 
Leobold? No Leobold. Oh no, not big smugs. Hmm. Well, that is an unfortunate draw. Man, Thran Dynamo would have been a good draw there, huh? You guys know Thran Dynamo? Smuggler's Copter is really annoying. One, two, three. So this lets us actually wins of abandon next turn. Kyle, enjoy your donuts, buddy. <laughs> this little donut humor. Yeah, that's that's what I was going for. We're going for the next turn, Shieldred. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have no blockers. I don't, you know, stop asking me. Wow, shoulder's actually really good here. Shoulder gets back Urza again? <laughs> Seems good. Okay, we're just going to kill you with this now. Thanks for the dudes, my dude. Wins time. Nope. <laughs> oh, boy.
Discard Karn, so we need to have Terastodon still in hand. Can't imagine that guy's coming down anytime soon. Scavenging ooze. Cool. So if this was the other signet, we'd be in good shape. Oh, we can actually make this a 2-2. Two, two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. They take 8 and go to 1. No, they gain 2 life, though. There are three total creatures in graveyards. Describe your deck to me in one sentence. Esper steal your girl. That's a phrase, I guess? I don't think that's a sentence. Sure, you take seven, you go to four. Interesting that they're just coming in with this guy. Because we have a brazen bar waiting in the wings, which we're gonna cast. And I don't really care about the three you're gonna you're gonna dish out here. Not a great sentence from someone who is usually the grammar police. Maybe. I mean that's true. So they have one blocker. If we hit a white source, we can Winds of Abandon that one blocker. There are only two creatures left in Graveyard, so they can potentially go up to six. Which means any two connections from these three guys. Oh shit, they're gonna flash in Yeva? It's pretty good. They have two cards in hand, they have not discarded Terastodon yet. So, wait, why would you play, why would you discard, like, just play the, I don't understand what's going on. Terastodon is apparently still in their hand, along with one other card. Sure. That doesn't do it. Because you're going to go to three. You can eat two creatures. You block these two. You take three, four, five. You're going to be at six. That's, that actually might do it. White source, white source, white source. Oh, not a treachery. Yeah, you're gonna block ele elephant, elephant, I assume. And then we die to scavenging use smuggler's copter. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, next turn we do have Treachery. They eat these two, right? They go to six. Pretty easy. Yeah, I think we just attack for three here. I'm just trying to figure out if that's if my if my math is correct. Yes, they're gonna be at six. They can block two three threes. Man, I'm just surprised how f how friggin' different this game became after they were able to exile our or uh, destroy our three three mana sources. 
Oh, if I'm treachering something, it's it's gonna be the Leovold. Good memories, good memories. <laughs> oh boy, we're at seven, huh? So we know one of their cards is Terastodon. Thank you. Jundasaur, welcome back, my dude. Thank you for the resub, I appreciate it. Thank you for the COVID content, buddy. I got you. I got you, fam. Oh, they didn't do anything. They didn't even attack with the big smugs. Okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. They do get to draw a card here, but mm, that's fine. Oh, they didn't even use it to crew. And do we just trade bar for smuggler? If we attack with everything, cha 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 cha. They could potentially go up to four if they discard a creature. They have two blockers, and then they die. Oh, I guess they can activate Lumbering Falls, too. Oh. Man, this game has just got a lot more complicated. But now they can even kill the Treachery, which is pretty, in pretty, pretty inconvenient. They've really been surviving here. I, mean, I think we just trade with Smuggler's Copter. This guy's not great here. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, they chose not to loot. They're like, I like my two cards. I don't foresee Null Priest doing any sort of uh, heavy lifting in terms of the graveyard when they have Scavenging Ooze out. Uh, reason for taking Leovold instead of Ooze? I don't think Ooze does anything for us where Leovold actually can actively draw us cards in the future if they try to either take it back or kill something or target us. Like, if they play Terastodon and kill the Treachery, we get to draw a card. If... They, I mean, I guess we could have attacked with Ooze. But, I mean, they still have chump blockers. Like, it's, it's I don't know, it does, doesn't seem like it's... Sure. I agree with the Menace. Especially because it gains us... Lifelink is also not irrelevant. Three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, well, they didn't play land. Oh, well, they're probably going to play that and then play land. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, they didn't play a land. Oh. I mean, I think, I think we're very far from a white mana, unfortunately. Oh, wow, they left me keep the elephant. 
That seems good. <sighs> Pretty sure we're just dead here. Yep. Targeted treachery. Yep. That's not the color we're looking for. <laughs> okay, so we're dead. We just go block, block, block. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <sighs> Yep, this is a fun match. Oh, we're 0-2 right now. That's cool. That's great. This is a good... Look at this. Look at this quality. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think it works out that way. I don't think if you're O2, you get matched against O2, other O2 players. Like, I think we're actually... Uh, <laughs> I think we're not super likely for that to be the case. Bogari Signet. One, two. Bogari Signet. Can't do anything else. Scared Island. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just get matched against people in the same league. So I think we're, I'm more eager to keep up Commit than I am Hero's Downfall. It also lets us keep up Brazen Borrower, so...
Yeah, it's very, very apparent that this is a storm deck. Again, no storm counter, just to be clear. That's fine because it's only three. You're only netting one. Oh, you're netting two because of Brawl, I guess. So seven mana here? Nix. It's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. No, that's not. Don't like that. Oh, they just pat. Wow, that was great. So we got them to waste Cabal Ritual, Lotus Petal, and other things. Frantic is their next draw. Okie dokie. I mean, ideally they play a creature, we can treachery it, then we can fall in Shinobi. They have three land, three mana though. Oh, uh, Indominus, if you don't mind, I would, I would, like I said, I would like to try to do it when there's no cube. <laughs> I mean, cube is only extended for a day, so it should be tomorrow. Um... If that's if that's something you don't mind. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Play a land. Steal your bro. One, two, three, four, five. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I don't think bribery does anything. I think we could just fall in Shinobi and keep Hero's downfall up. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Shinobi this guy. Two lands. Must be nice. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Signet into Looter here. And I guess hope they don't kill us.
Indominus, appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. Good times. For all? Yeah. That was fun. Thank you! Tireless Tractor, thank you for the resub. Nice. Nice mocks. I was hoping we could draw mocks, but instead we just drew a fucking land, so we get to do one thing before we get to pass our turn and discard seven cards. No. Eight cards. My bad. <laughs> Silly me. Cool. Land go. Nope. Island. Island. Signet. Treachery. Bribery, Liliana, and don't even know how many more I got to discard here. Another island? Sure. Okay, I gotta keep going, huh? Okay. Um, Golos? Oh, okay. There we go.
blue source. Seven drop. Sounds good. All right. Well, we got two turns. I didn't even know this was suspended, so that's hilarious. Yeah, this is probably the turn they kill us, I assume. Do, 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 do. Oh, they just cast Mox Diamond for no value. Wow. Thank you! Jay Money, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Okay, you're at five life and you're playing Bullets of Citadel, huh? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Oh, the top is good to have with Bullets of Citadel. They already played an island, though, so they're... No, that was, that was last turn. Dang it. Dang it. All right, they're at three. Oh, they're at one. Okay. So, any spell off the... Okay, but we're, if you just have tendrils, we're dead. Sure. I assume you have it. It would be, it would be a, a grave injustice if you did not have it. I don't think I have anything that shuffles, so that sucks. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. Jerk off more, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Lord. Let's take out bribery, treachery. I don't think we're an upheaval deck when they're an upheaval deck. I'm also going to run to the bathroom after this. Could just drop a pester mite in here as a dude. Yeah, that's probably better than that guy. Uh, balance can help if they have more cards in hand. Blah. Okay. Keep pitch. If we draw a white source on this or the next turn, it's pretty good. Seems good. Baral. Young Peasy. Oh yeah, that's the thing I love about that's the thing I love about MTGO. Like I have a clock, they have a clock. I get to use my clock however I want. If I want to go to the bathroom, I can do that, and I don't get to rope and miss three turns in a row and then just lose the game. So, you know, kind of a big difference.
got it. Just brain freezing us for like three? Sure. Whatever that does. Cool. I will block. Just Urza here, or is it actually Heroes Downfall and the Pyromancer? I think it's actually Heroes Downfall and the Pyromancer. They have one card, we have two? Sure. about this this costs more mana but like the mocks might be just a dead card in their hand so uh we haven't talked to tide taker because i did value the uh the ability on the board a little more than just getting a generic one one especially when we know their deck has upheaval cast the people on your that's not my, no that's not my point my point is if we get a spirit token we don't get a creature back if we ugh, see I'm, damn it it's not what i wanted to do now if they upheaval we we're, we're down one more card i mean it, it's fine because we do have brazen bar so we can go if they upheaval we can go float the mana brazen bar post upheaval which i don't think is terrible Especially because they only have six mana. But we do not have mocks in hand, which is actually pretty good. It is better on board though, so, you know. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, they get upheaval here. Nothing, fl oh, they're just gonna lose that mana, okay. Well, I mean, we're for sure trying to clock you right now, so. Oh, that's actually pretty decent. So 
they go to five here? Like, what's our best option? We can play Liliana, but it doesn't do much is the problem. I'd rather almost keep up these two, because if we if they do upheaval, we can float mana, play Pestermite, and then bounce something that they play. Which is pretty good. Alternatively, we can Liliana get, like, Urza back. Or even mere battle sphere, but again, if they're gonna if, if they have upheaval, that doesn't do anything. Whereas like we do have lethal on board right now, so Yep, that's that'll do. Yeah, they're also at three now, so. I mean, it's very possible they can string together a, a tendrils victory here. I assume their cards are Frantic Search, Mox, Vampiric Tutor, and Dark Ritual. Okay. When your opponent floats more mana than you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we know they have Mox. Yep, there's the Mox. We can just cast Brazen Bar and they have to have an answer, right? What is their hand? Coalition Relic Land Land, right? Sure. So you're dead, right? That's a game. That is a game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blue sources. That should be enough. They certainly did some game actions there. Boy, didn't they. Man, I wish I could bring this Kiki Jiki and this Deceiver Exarch in, but triple red is just not a reasonable amount of. It's a, not a reasonable. What do you call it? I don't hate this hand. It's a little slow, but their deck's not necessarily fast. We do need a black source. Okay. Yep. Signet. Golgari Signet. Man, eh, it's a black source. Sure.
Are we just dead here? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, God. Good times, man. Good fucking times. Okie dokie. Oh boy. Where do they in Fade of Car come from? I, I have no idea. They did nothing. Land? Land. <laughs> Gotta put something on the board. They also have five minutes to our 13, so... I don't think that's gonna matter. It's game three, but... Did you dark petition for a vampiric tutor? End of turn frantic search. Okay, it's not contributing. Interesting. This is a really weird play because it's literally a two. It's a three for two. You're not contributing to your own storm count and you're also not netting the mana. That was very odd. This is upheaval? Bolus is Citadel. Sure, my dude. Surely. And that's the end. Alright. Say, uh. Beautiful. Fallen Shinobi. We know the top card is a land. Kind of tempted to just tuck it. So we know they're going to draw the land, right? Like, that's the... I assume they're going to draw and play a land. You're going to upheaval? Wow. Fucking amazing. Jesus Christ. Every fucking game you have upheaval. Every fucking game. How do you draw mind twist upheaval every game? Can you explain it to me? Cool. I mean, Geist next turn could be good. I don't know, man. Relic.
This actually could be too much pressure. They're going to Citadel, but they can't do much else, I guess. No, maybe they can. There's a bunch of mana here. <laughs> wow. Seems good. So your top two cards are two zero-cost artifacts? Not bad. They did play a land this turn, so once they hit another land, it's... Lights out. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we actually, if we shinobi be one of the guys that are in play, yeah, that's fine. Well, we know we're gonna hit land something else. Tendrils, brain freeze. Might as well brain freeze you. Sure. Oh yeah, I guess we could have left it exile just in case they have like Twister or something, but I I don't know. I was I was also more concerned with just being able to hit something good. There's a see there's a tendrils and a brain freeze now in the graveyard, so it's actually pretty good for us. We haven't seen Yogwell once in the three three games that we've played. They're also at five, so their their options for Bolas' Citadel are pretty limited now. And Angel deals four directly, so. I'm wondering if we should have bounced Angel instead. Probably, because Null Priest being on board is just better. I don't know. Time twister. Sure. Hmm. Yep, they're at four. Man, the, the zero mana cards on top are just... Very good. Oh, what up, Chan Chan? Yeah, the reason, I mean, obviously you can't pay mana because you because it's just too good. If Bolas said I'll just let you pay life or mana off the top, it would just be insanely good. Whereas right now, I think it's pretty well balanced. They also have 34, they only have 32 seconds, but I guess if they hit a tendrils, they just kill us. Yep, here we go. What a shit show this is. <sighs> Fucking get tendrils. I mean, they still have to do it in eight seconds, and tendrils by itself right now doesn't just actually kill us. They need one more spell. Oh my god. <laughs> they just died because their brain... Oh my god. <laughs> As usual, Storm is hot trash. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at managers.com. 15% off with the link promo code down below. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.